Mm, Hicks and Kisses are my Toodles! Hey Toodles! Oh my god, it is Saturday and it's time to shop my stash! Oh my god, I cannot believe this. Alright guys, now, to start it off, y'all know I've been using this this week as my face primer. I love the Dead Sea Body Almond Vanilla. Oh my god, this is like a total holy grill for me. Right now, I've been using it, as you can tell, if you can see where it's at. And then I have totally been using it. I love it so much. I bought it for, it says it's on here. It says it's like the best seller. And I've been buying this, like, totally bought it for like, the original price was $5, I think at Family Dollar. And I paid like $3 and something for it. But antioxidant cleans, clears the mind, and smooths the body. And my face right now feels so gorgeous with it. Love it. I've also, now, for this week, I'm switching off. I want to use up my beauty glaze. I don't think there's a lot in here. May not be any. I feel like there's any. But I don't know. Mm, there's a little, but not a lot. I'm going to use, because I was using this a lot, so I want to use this too. And if I do use it up before this month, even though it's not in Project Pan, I'll use it up. Which is fine. Um, which is good. Two lippies that I have been using this week. This one here is an LA Color Lippy. I like the way these feel. It's not a bright color for me, so actually, I'm not going to get rid of this. I'm going to put this in my traveling bag because it's a lipstick that if I'm out traveling with my husband and we're somewhere, I can just reach it and grab, or I might even put it in my makeup bag that I carry in my purse. I don't know about that one yet. This one is bad. I used this once this past week on my lips, and usually when I put lips on my lips, I like to lick my lip on my tongue and taste you know see if it's the flavor it's supposed to smell like this one smells ugh. it smells like it's been like up in the attic for years this is gonna go in the trash so this one i will be throwing away so let me go ahead here i'm gonna get a makeup wipe pulled out this one i hope i hope okay the other day, I ended up doing that, and I ended up grabbing three. Okay. So, another thing I've been using this week is the Maybelline Colossal Big Shot. I love this mascara. I'm using it now on my eyes. I love this mascara. It is the bomb. So, I'm going to come over here. <coughs> put it in. I've got a drawer. <coughs> Down here, when I use my mascaras, I put the mascara in there. So... I've been using this face powder. I will be using this. Is it? No. This one I will not be using again this week. But this is the face powder that I was using. I will not be using this one again. So I'll be putting this up. But I do love this powder. This is a good powder. It kind of is a little bit too darker for my skin tone. <clears throat> but I had a friend. She is dark complexion. And she gave me this. So I do love this powder foundation. I'm going to stick it in my drawer. I've also been using, this is also on Project Pan. I've been using the NYX, not NYX, but the NYC bronzer. And I think I made headway with it. I've made a big dent in it, I believe. I feel like I have. Love it, love it, love it. So, okay, put that over there. Um, another thing I'm going to talk about is this right here. If you can see, this is in Project Pan. And I panned this one the other day. And I panned this one this morning because I am wearing the shade on my eyes. May not look it, but I did pan it, and that's a Juvia's Place. And you all know how much I love Juvia's Place. And with this palette, you can tell which ones I've been using. I come up here during the day, and I just sometimes come down here, and I play with makeup. And, oh my god, it's perfect. This blush is the bomb diggity bomb. It is a wet and wild blush. I don't know if they make these blushes anymore. <clears throat> and I really need to go, like, on some of the makeup websites and see if they make some of this so because i know a lot of people don't talk about a makeup that is limited edition or no longer 
And I know I have some a limited edition palette and I have some limited edition things that uh, I shouldn't really be talking about, but I am. But <clears throat> this is nice. And I never see these anymore, so, you know. But it is in my Project Pan, so that's why I'm talking about it. This is not in Project Pan, but I did buy this off of Amazon. And it's a Wet n Wild palette. Um, Turn Me Over is what it's called. I use, you can tell there's a dip in this shade. I use this shade a lot, and I use this brown shade a lot, so... Basically, either this brown or this one's going to be pan first, even though this is not in my project pan video. So, I'm going to go ahead and put this right in here. Alright. Next thing is this CoverGirl foundation. I did pan this. It is an odd in project pan. It kind of looks old, but I did pan it. I will be using this again this week. So... And then I will decide if I want to keep it or get rid of it. I've been using this liquid foundation here. And to tell you the truth. It's in the shade Glistening Beige. But I don't know the brand of this. I do not know the brand of this. But I do like it. It smells old. But it is like a nice, nice, nice color on my skin tone. And I noticed yesterday how my face was like all on you and today it's not that's good my camera's actually working pretty good this is one of this is the lip I have on my lip today I do love this lip these are cool I will keep this one some of these I did not want to keep but I'll keep it I've been using the wet n wild mega glow highlighter this is a limited edition, and it is also in my project pan, and I really don't want to get rid of a lot of limited edition, you know, makeup, but I have been using it, and as you can tell, I made a big dent in it. I haven't got rid of the star yet shade, but it's there. And then I did not know that there's actually a mirror there. I did not know, and when I got it, I could hear it shaking, I'm like, What? So, and that goes in my project pan as well. This is also stays in here. It's in project pan, but this is a concealer I was using. It is almost, like, totally done. I have one more to pan, and then I will keep using it, and it's going to stay in this, um, it's going to stay in there. I've been using the LA Color Ice Pigmented. This is an awesome shade. It was blue, and I love it. I do have another one I will be using. I'm going to go ahead and put this one back. <clears throat> and I do have another one I'll be using. This is my brow. I've been using Jordanian Brow Pencil. I'm actually going to use this again this week because I'm definitely loving this brow pencil. And I'm even thinking about buying another one. I've been using this as in Project Pan. This stays in my my Project Pan um, thing so it can get use out of it. I've been using, as you can tell, these two shades on my lips. I want to get this some more pans on this one as well. For another lip that I've been using, this L'Oreal. <coughs> the L'Oreal. Love the L'Oreal lip. Oh my god, this is the bomb, diggity bomb. It stains your lips. And it will come off to a light, light pink afterwards. I mean a light pink. Probably, well that's not a pink, but like, kind of like this light. Kind of like what's on my hand light, but a little bit lighter than that. And you still got a little tone, and I love it. Um, okay, then I have the Milani I've been using in number 65, which is in the shade Glam. Love this shade. This is a beautiful purple shade. I used it a couple times this week on my lips. Um, I know once I was about to leave and go head up to be with 
to, to see my cousin and I stuck it on and I was like gotta put that on gotta put a lip on so I did it yesterday I wore this one which is um, <clears throat> Maybelline color sensational it's 845 it's in pitch in the shade pitch black it is a black shade I have been using this and I had this on my lips yesterday, and they're like, what did you eat? Black licorice? And I was like, somebody in the grocery store asked me if I had black lic was eating black licorice. I hate black licorice, but this is a my cousin likes black licorice, but not me. This is my eyeshadow um, primer that I was using, and I definitely love this eyeshadow primer. Mm, was gonna use it this week, but then I already had one picked out, so I'm not using this this week. I'm going to come right here If you do not mind my face up close to the camera Like the camera Action. So I've been using this inflammable concealer by L'Oreal love this concealer I have to say this is another one of my favorite concealers the drugstore concealers so, I'll put that back up later. And then I was using this Scandalous by Ramel London Eyeliner. Love. Alright. Are you ready? <clears throat> Let's get into the makeup I will be using this week. I already showed you the Beauty Glaze face primer I will be using. And a powder foundation and a concealer I'll be using in a lip product. I'm going to be using my e.l.f. Um, powder foundation. I still say it may be like a little bit too dark maybe for me but I don't know but I'm still going to go ahead and use it this week. I have not tried it out yet so I can try it out and Thursday when I do my first impressions give you first impressions on it. I will be using my uh, Physician Formula Eyeliner. I'll be using my Ramel London Instant Do Action Contour Stick. I'll be using my um, CoverGirl Clean Mate Foundation. This is also in my project pan. I did not mark it the last time of where it's at, um, but I need to like find out exactly where it's at. I think it's still like a full container. I don't know. But it's in Project Pan, so I've got to work on that one. I'll be using my Quinique for my little palette. I will also be using the new e.l.f. one I recently got in the Makeup Swamp. I'll be using that as well. I have this I bought off of Amazon. It's gorgeous and beautiful it is a creamy highlighter so I will be using it as well and that's what the shade looks like inside I'm gonna take a little bit out of here and I will give you a swatch and show you what it looks like it is a creamy highlighter and it is awful gold gold so I'm gonna give it a swirl give it a swirl I'm gonna give it a try I'm going to give it a try and see if I like it or not. If I do not like it, I'm not actually going to get rid of it if I don't like it because I like the little container, so I'll keep it for a decorative piece, but I can also use this as an eyeshadow, creamy eyeshadow as well, but that's not that bad. But once I get it in there and blend in some more, see, blending it in more and more, it gets lighter and lighter, which is awesome. I will be using this too. This is the Ultra Beauty Blush and Contour or contour, Bronzer that I will be using this as well. I do love the blush and I do love this contour. It's going to be a contour, but I do love these colors. They're not too bright and not too light, so that's perfect. Then I have this one I just recently got in a makeup swap and I will be using this one this week. This week as well. You've got your blush, your highlighter, and your bronzer. So I'll go ahead and swatch these. These are really, really creamy. 
and I love it. So if I do like this, I have seen this at my dollar family dollar store. So if I do like this, I'll probably buy another one from Family Dollar. Because they're like $3 at Family Dollar. So I can always get me another one. If I start to like it. Then I can get another one and go buy one. Because I know exactly where they're at. So. Um, this is the Ultra Beauty Eyeshadow Primer. I will be using for my eyes. I have the... Maybelline Lash Sensational Mascara. I will be using this week. These are two of the lips that I will be using. This is a Milani lip in the, sh in the shade Fame, which is number 42. Which is a very pretty shade. Give it a swatch here, and that's what it looks like. That is gorgeous. That is going to be real gorgeous on my lips. I cannot wait to use that one. <coughs> I have this one here. I think this one is by Maybelline or CoverGirl. Maybelline, I think it is. It's number 100. It's in the shade Shine. No. Mystical Fair, I think it is. A Mystical Fair. It's like a red color. It is a gorgeous shade. Oh my god, that is so gorgeous. So, I am like totally nuts over a lot of these shades. They're gorgeous. Okay, this is another one I will be using for eyes. Um, it's like a, it's in the shade, hang on. Growling, glowing, glowing, G-L-O-W-I-N-D, glowing. Oh my god, that highlighter still, that, that liquid highlighter has sparkles in it, and that's the shade right there, it is so gorgeous, and you can still see from right here, that liquid highlighter has some shine in it, and as you can tell, I do use these a lot, I do reach for these and put these on, sometimes I use these as eye toppers, so that's good, okay, this is another lipstick I will be using. One of the little ones. A very pretty shade. So that's the shade there. I will be using that one. Okay. Anyway. For my liquid lips. Last but least. I'm using the next one. Purple. I want to smell this before I use it. Because the other one didn't smell right. Oh no. No. This one's purple. This one, no. I don't think I'm going to be using this one because this one smells like, this one smells like this one. It smells bad. So I'm going to pick another liquid lip and get rid of that one. I'm going to take this purple one off. It is a pretty, but it does not smell right. So I'll go ahead and swatch the other two. This one here is Milani. One of my newest Milani ones I bought. I bought this I could wear it for Valentine's Day, which I did not wear. But I love it, so I will be wearing this liquid lip. The other liquid lip I have here is an Ultra Beauty liquid lip. I'll go ahead and swatch in here. Now, I'm going to go ahead and pick out another one and see what it is. Those do not smell good. And I do not want to wear something that smells nasty, that did not smell good at all. Okay, this is one of the new lips I just recently got in a PR package by Gold Coast. So, I just grabbed one out of my drawer. And there's the shade there, so I'm going to go ahead and use this one this week. So, so I can't use anything that smells. Those will be, I will be decluttering those too today and throwing them in the trash. I need to check all my NYX ones because I do like the purple NYX. So that is it for Shop My Stash. I hope you enjoyed this video. You can give it a hoorah thumbs up if you like these types of videos. If you like these types of videos, give them a hoorah thumbs up. If you don't like these types of videos, then you can give it a hoorah thumbs down. 
I am, um, I'll go ahead and I'm going to talk more about it probably Tuesday on um, Blah Blah Tuesday or probably tomorrow too since tomorrow's sample Sunday. Sunday and Tuesday I'll probably talk about it. I am going on a health food diet thing, a health food. I am going to start eating healthier than what I eat. I'm always eating pizzas and pizza rolls and all kinds of junk food. And I bought a pizza yesterday at Kroger's by Oprah Winfrey and it has cauliflower crust. I'm going to try it out. If I start liking the pizza with cauliflower crust, I will start making pizzas with cauliflower. I want to start liking cauliflower because it's healthy for you. I want to start eating healthier foods. And I love broccoli and cheese. And cheese is good for you, but not too much cheese. So I want to start eating a little healthier than what I eat. So I told myself I'm going to try the best I can to eat healthy like I can. If I can't eat healthy, then I could be ruining my health. And I want my heart in better shape. I was born with a hole in my heart. And I want to feel better. And I want to get into shape. So I know y'all going to give me a little encouragement. So hopefully... Um, by the by before summer comes say by before May I lose a little bit of weight I'm 156 pounds um, I went to the doctors the doctors told me I should be at least a hundred and thirty something pounds because I'm four foot eleven and I shouldn't weigh that much but I'm gonna try so we're gonna check this out and see so if you are new to my channel, welcome, welcome, welcome. Hit the subscribe button so you can be entered in my 500 subscriber giveaway. I know the other day I said 200 and it's not 200, it's 500. I moved it from 200 to 500 subscriber giveaway. I need some more subscribers, so subscribe people, come on. I know you want to subscribe to me. I'm going to try to do, start my videos somewhat a little different now. So, my little intro. I want to make an intro on my videos. I need to figure out how I can make an intro on my videos. So if y'all know how you do intros where you can say, do pictures or something as your intro before you start your video, let me know in the comments down below. I really want to change up my intros on my videos because I'm always going hugs and kisses on my toodles. And I can do that, but I like to know how to do some intro things on here. So. Let me know how you do it and where you go to make your intros to your videos. Let me know. Okay. Peace out. Love y'all.